Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Denver 4 from our Privilege Collection. You can see here there's a tunnel design tent which is aimed to sleep up to four people with two bedrooms across the back, a good size sealed living space in the middle here and this great uh, extended canopy on the front here. All of which we'll show you in detail shortly but first of all I want to talk you through the features on the outside. So if we start off with the fly sheet that we have on here, this is our Outex 4000. So this is a premium quality taffeta polyester material. You'll find that all of the seams on this tent have been fully sealed and we then also PU coat the inside as well. And that gives the tent a hydrostatic head of 4,000 millimetres, ensuring that it is completely waterproof. It's also fire retardant and it has been UV treated as well to ensure even better protection under sunlight to make sure that the tent is going to last a good long time. In terms of the frame that we use on here, the majority of the tent is made up using our Durotec fiberglass poles, which are, of course, really good quality fiberglass. So they're actually a little bit different to standard fiberglass in that they have a protective sheath around the outside of them, just making them that little bit more strong and rigid. Uh, we then, across the front area here on this extended canopy, use two steel poles, so full length steel, so you get a really good solid and rigid canopy area at the front of the tent. Also, overall, we're using our wind stabiliser, so that makes this tent even more stable. Uh, and I'll show you now how it works. What we have is this Velcro tab at the top here, so really easy to put into place. When you're setting the tent up, all you have to do is wrap this around the pole like this and fasten into position. you find that there's one at the top and at the bottom of the poles all the way around the tent, and uh, this is where we have our guy lines attached. So when you take the guy lines out and peg them into position, what it does is it pulls the fly sheet against the frame of the tent, and that makes it much more taut and therefore much more stable. So in terms of weather uh, beating performance, this tent certainly has it with it being completely waterproof. And of course, as I just mentioned there, nice and stable in high wind conditions as well. Just to also highlight that we do color code uh, some of the sleeves on here to match the poles. So in terms of setup, it should be nice and simple and easy for you to make sure that you're getting the right uh, pole in the right sleeve. So the guy lines themselves, uh, as I said earlier, are actually pre-attached already. Um, so you don't need to put these on yourself. They are our classic luminous guy lines that we're using on here. So nice and easy to spot. You'll then find that each one has our well-known and well-loved uh, guy line retainer, just like this here. So when you take the tent down, we can wrap up the guy lines and pop them in there. So the next time you come to use the tent, they're nice and easily accessible. Some other features to highlight then, we have our air effective ventilation on this tent here, so you can see down the side and across the other side as well. We have this real streamlined and sleek ventilation on the outside. Underneath there, you'll see that there is a mesh panel, uh, so that's going to allow cool fresh air into the tent, reducing the amount of condensation and of course making you feel that little bit more comfortable. If it does get too chilly, these are easily removable, you can just take these Velcro tabs off and push down uh, and that will keep you that little bit more cosy. So as I said, we also have this large canopy, it is built into the tent um, and uh, yeah, gives a great space. But I just want to highlight, we do have some uh, mud valances on either side, which just allow rainwater to run down and away from here. Quite an important point for me to highlight though, is actually just how much extra space you're getting here, uh, given the footprint. So you can see by the shape of this pole here, that actually the footprint of this tent isn't actually quite as long as the coverage that you get. And if I pop round to the front on the inside here, what you should be able to see is just how much extra space that gives you. So you've got a great amount of shelter here. If you're lucky enough for it to be a really hot and sunny day, then you're certainly going to be able to sit in here and get a bit of shade. Or more likely, if it's raining and miserable outside, then of course you have a great area to be able to sit and get a bit of shelter from that. So then the front wall of the tent is a vertical wall, so that maximises the space on the inside as well. So there's no dead space at the front here. You go straight into a full height uh, walk-in style tent. You can see that it's a D-door uh, style, so this is where the door opens and rolls to the side, so it's just a little bit easier to access. Uh, in behind this door, which will be difficult to see at the moment, but we do have a full zippable mesh door as well, so hopefully you can just see that mesh there. So what that means is you can leave the outside door rolled uh, open like this, uh, but then fully zip the mesh door at the front here, allowing for great ventilation and hopefully keeping out those unwanted bugs. The tent itself is very spacious, actually, even though it's a sort of slightly smaller size with it being a four-man, of course, but you certainly get a lot of space in here. I'm quite tall at around 1 metre 95. You can see I can stand up in here no problem at all. 
We have two large chairs, a table, we've got some storage over here and there's still plenty of space around. So that's accentuated as well thanks to large windows all the way around us, so that's going to allow lots of light into the tent, of course making it feel that bit more spacious. But if you want some privacy then each window has its own curtain, which we just have rolled away at the moment. But what you can do with these of course is bring them either halfway up, they will toggle up to about this sort of point, or of course you can then fully close them if, uh, if you need to. I'll just highlight at the top here the strip of uh, mesh that I mentioned from the outside that corresponds to our air effective uh, ventilation. So just on the ventilation side of things, I've already mentioned we've got a full zip mesh door on the front. We actually have an entrance on the side here, which we've just got the waterproof door rolled down at the moment, but you can see at the top we have another full mesh zip door uh, just stowed away here. And it is the same on the other side as well, so you can get really good through ventilation within this tent. Then just highlight up here, we have our lantern hanging point in a good central location. So if you do have a hanging lantern that would fit onto that, then you can use that no problem. And then we have cable tidies which run down to the side either way from that, which will uh, lead down to where we have a cable entry point just here. So that allows you to run power into your tent without actually having to have this door open. So while I'm just here, I'll highlight that this is a fully sealed ground sheet from front to back and side to side. You can see that it's bathtub in style, so it's coming up at the edges here. Uh, and as I say, fully sealed front to back and side to side. So that's going to stop any draft in this area. It's going to keep out things like dirt, dust and sand. And more importantly, again, hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. So at the back of the tent is where the bedrooms are located. And as I mentioned before, this tent can sleep up to four people across two bedrooms. And a nice feature here is that these actually come pre-attached already. So the first time you pitch this tent, they're already in place. So it's a job you don't need to worry about. In terms of features, we have some handy pockets on the outside here for smaller personal possessions and there are more within the bedroom areas as well. There's some down here and some down this side also. So you can now see across the back of the bedroom here we have a large ventilation panel which corresponds to uh, panels on the fly sheet. And you can see that separating the two bedrooms is this zippable uh, material here. So you can actually zip the sides up on this and roll it up and toggle it to create one large bedroom across the back if needs be. We have a couple of optional extras available for this tent, which would be the flat woven carpet that you can see in this living area, just giving a little bit more comfort. And we also have a footprint available to go under the ground sheet here to keep it clean and dry on those wet and muddy days. So there you have it then, all the features of our Denver 4 from the Privilege Collection. Thank you very much for watching.